Consider this electric dipole submerged in an electric field E. From previous video, I already introduced electric dipole moment which has a direction from negative Q to positive Q. When positive charge is submerged in an electric field, it has a tendency to be pushed by the electric field and moves along the direction of the electric field. On the other hand, when negative charge is submerged in an electric field, it has a tendency to move in the direction opposite to the electric field. These two forces here tends to rotate the electric dipole in such a way the electric dipole moment P moves in the same direction as that of the electric field. To derive an expression that quantitatively describes the ability of the electric field to rotate the electric dipole, we calculate the net torque experienced by the dipole. The net torque experienced by the dipole is equal to the torque applied on the positive charge and the torque applied on the negative charge. Substituting the definition of torque, we have this equation. And note that the arm R here is actually D over 2 and the force here is represented by charge times electric field. Based on the figure, the arm or R here refers to D over 2 and D over 2 cross charge times electric field results to a rotation based on the right hand rule. For negative charge Q, D over 2 cross negative charge times E points to the positive Z axis, so this cross product is positive. Recall this property that we can extract a constant out of a cross product. We apply this property to extract the constants in the above expression. Recall the definition of electric dipole moment, P equals charge times distance. If we return to the figure, notice that the positive Z axis points out of the page. If we use right hand rule and keep track of P cross E, its direction is along the negative Z axis. In other words, the negative sign here is a consequence of the rotation of the dipole opposite to the coordinates. If the positive charge is within the first quadrant, the negative sign here wouldn't appear. Therefore, we can drop the negative sign since this just depicts a special case where the rotation of the dipole is opposite with the positive z-axis of the randomly chosen coordinates. Ergo, the general case of the torque experienced by electric dipole due to the external field is dipole moment cross the electric field. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates. Thank you for watching.